five. I'm not seven, sure, but it's good together. Oh, okay. We're going to yeah, find out how. Her. I know somebody who is. She's. Oh, Boom's going to be very happy with that. So I'm already having a good time in the lane. And now Hastery, and he's going to try for Iceberg. Straight in under the tower. They're going with the board. He's got the chance to verify Iceberg. He's not going to live, though. They got him. Because of this advantage that he has. So Iceberg probably might just have to resort to jungle. She bought him. Shad. He's getting gone on. Seller is going to come in with the tether. Shad, he's going to go down. Boom will come in with the counterplay. Zipping on to Roger. He's got a little bit more mana to close the gap. Coming with the vortex. Roger is able to hold his ground. Get the life striker out. Roger's going to live. And Iceberg, he's made the reaction play. He's coming. And he's got a DD. So he's able to take down another. He'll react on top. He's going to go straight in with the zip. Catches a one. want to fly. By the rune. He's looking to actually break it. He might still be in trouble. He's still staying in the area. Roger is near. Ah, he's. He's just accepting his fate here, generally knows he can't get out. Huh. They saw the smoke too. They have the Hawk right in the mid lane that saw it all coming. But they just eat the gank anyway. Yeah, they're going to get both of them because of that. What? A little more of a greedy stance, not really that playmaking. Yeah, I mean, well, down bottom, boom. He might just go and find another here, Roger, again. I mean, We'll see if he does opt to finish though, because it, it, it definitely just feels weird if, if he's going to go Always for that. Always want to fly. He's, he's dead. He's dead. There's a splitter out, and he's gone. Uh, so it's going to be TP reactions to the moment. With the reload. Oh, Teller yeah. got baited. He did. He thought they were going. I mean, they were until they weren't. Because now we have this game where we're just playing a little bit more of a farming passive oh. game, and this is benefiting Boom's Viking. It. Yeah, this Boom's is amazing for Viking. Right, they're going to see if they can catch Shad. There we go. Axe is out to spot him. They got the raw Shad. They got He's it. not getting out of this. The long but jump, though. Kill. Kill. Boom is going to come up with a counter play, and Toby's going to be brought over by Celery. They're running in onto Vitune. Off the side, Telekinesis to Roger. General and Vitune trying to split, but the splitter from Toby's coming out. Won't catch Vitune, but the Stomp does. So they can move in on this. Boom. They getting got reloaded out, though. I'm over here. Yeah, it's just the two of them left. And now, Toby and Boom, they're trying to run. Boom. He's going to have the heals for Celery. Actually trying to hold his ground with the light strikes out. So is the grip. V-Tune. He's got to clean up a few more here. Celery. He's also dead as well. Let's see what he can find here. Easy D ward. The lift up onto Iceberg. They're going to try and go for this. They go over the horn. Look at him commit straight away onto Iceberg. Zip, they get the Yules off and live. Supernova on the high ground. Shad, he's trying to take it down. Can he do so? He can. He's able to take down the egg in time. Roger. And they are going to scout it out. Stomp to set things up. Iceberg, he's just in. Yeah, he's ready to go. He's just going to jump in on our RMS coming in with a BKB. Starting to play around the two supports. The horn comes out. Chad's going to look for the back lines. Jumps out of there. They get themselves on top of always want to fly. Take out the Phoenix. But the roars down onto RMS. Both him and Celery so low. The crits come in. Vichu's able to take him out. Buybacks come back from the two supports. Hot Viking. Jump over to the side. They're looking to take out Toby. But Toby's going to be saved by Celery. Comes in with the tether. Toby's going to be fine. Vichu, no crits. They just continue to fly through as the storm goes down. It's going to be a third buyback from Viking. They're throwing everything into this team fight. Featuring with the remainder of his BKB, he's going to TP out. Give some respect to his. He did actually TP all the way back to the base, which has left the rest of Na'Vi a little exposed. As, as, as now, always want to fight goes down a second time. General's going to fall on Storm uh, of all heroes as well, of course. Oh, Shad, though. Oh, he's completely isolated. He's going to have some backup save coming in. I can't, can't save him inside. And now Celery. Ow. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna watch him burn. <laughs> Target priorities, but yeah. Up at, up at 6k gold lead and now boom. through the Spectre. And boom! He just zipped into the whole squad. Staging a comeback! I know. Okay. Do they have chains left up for him afterwards? They're gonna have to cut the us. Vichu's around. Shad, he's gonna jump over towards Roger. Boom. He's gonna zip in aggressively to take out Always Wanna Fly. Also, able to get the pullback onto General Vichu. Now going in over towards Boom, but Boom's able to dodge it out. Slide to the side. Shad stepping away. Vichu committing with the BKB. Despite the rest of his team dead. Now, this time around, the BKB TPR yeah. makes a lot more sense. He's able to. What? Did I get. Well, okay. Uh, he's still with them. And he's gone. <laughs> So that tells them that they're smoking this area. They're still going to go for the room, though. Straight on to Always Wanna Fly. They put the horn to. Shad's going to be able to move in. They take out Always Wanna Fly. And they've got the TP cancel on a Roger. Straight Telekinesis and Viking making quick moves with the horn. Shad. They're looking for General, too. The reload's in. Yeah, boom. 
Ice gonna get rolled underneath the tower, but General taking hit, big hit. Sideplex in the combat with the oh, chain. He's able to hold him down. The shot. He's in trouble now as well. Vichu's turned up, but Vichu hits hard if he's ready to jump in, and he is. Looking towards Shad. Shad able to get up to the high ground with the dagger. Iceberg still continue to chase. Toby turns towards Vichu, but the crits are there. They take him out. Shad, he's going to be the oh. one to walk out. Are they going to throw everything onto him, though? No, nah, Vichu's going to look for the squishies. Gets the Rubik first. Straight away, bye bye. Will come into play. Boom. He's going to look for always want to fly, but he's been your son. Roger, he's got the stun combo into the roll. Laguna Blade, but there's Celery coming in with the tether, coming in with the heels. It's not enough, though. Vichu turns over towards him. Takes him out. Boom, dead for 70. Celery also gone out of the game. They're going to continue to chase right up to the base. The Luba Toby, the flash comes in from v -Tune. It's a triple kill for him. He's over to Aris. And it's a kill for v -Tune. Chad, going to pop the horn. Try and move in. They're, they are backing away in Navi. Navi. And Aris is going to stop. Aris is thinking about it. Yeah, they're going to start walking towards him now. I think now they realize there isn't anyone else behind it. So, oh. get, get on the one. Almost. Yeah, he's in though. He's able to get out. Boom. He's going to be able to get away to the side there. Aramis saving him with the glimmer. Okay, but the chains are in. And Boom won't make it out despite Aramis' best attempts to save him with the glimmer. Now we get Chasing for more. Iceberg. Looking for more revenge. They got what they came for. Oh, Celery. I'll get him as well. Oh. He's also there on the return. So he can always Boom. be smoked up in fights. Okay. Oh, oh, goodbye. Oh, goodbye. He's down for 80. back straight away here. We'll see Shad. Who was he going for? Who was, he, who was he trying to kill? I think he tried to kill Always Wanna Fly with his Basher and his Manta on the hunt, but he just gets yours. And now they just lost. Well, I mean, they might have. I mean, they, they probably lost anyway, considering how big V-Tune was, but... Just horning in to die like that. Now Aramis, he's trying to pull the creeps away. Oh, he's got Laguna. No, he's not going to get to use it. No, not much. Oh, they actually glyphed the wave too, so he's not even cutting it entirely. And, uh, no, they they're 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 just dive it on Toby. They're going to get the tier 3, they're going to get the Parax. And, and, and oh, Toby's going to get forced to the side there. I have a save it. But uh, Beechin obviously have an easy jump straight back in with a phantom strike. Celery popping the ghost here, but he's been changed. They zip out, boom, trying to play around with them. Shad's going to be up in a second. But Beechin just picking up the triple, boom. In on to always want to fly. Shad stepping in, but he's going to get roared immediately. They do get the kill with the light strike, where it's down onto the two of them. They turn with the Laguna. Shad's trying to back off, but he's been yours down. Beechin's picked up the ultra kill and turn over one. Shad Gigi's going to be called as Beechin. He's looking for it, and he's going to get it. Rampage there for V Tune as he, re he really does have the, the perfect PA game 20 0 6, hitting some of the fastest time times we've seen. And I think Navi with, with just some of the, 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 the most sensible play we've seen from this team. Just general, once again, is going to be playing this off laner that's got tower pressure and just kind of wants to. He's stepping up, uh, they're going to try. There we go, opening up with the magic missile. Vichu chasing him down, he's going to have that multi-shot to finish him off, and there we have it. Aramis tries to jump in to, to block some of the hits, but it's not going to work. He has to be very careful how he stands in the lane. I mean, he's... He just might die again. Yeah, they're... Of course. Both of them. Uh, very, very low. There's going to be a multi-shot available. Might be able to kill both. I, they're now they're both dead. dead. But if he can get the multi-shot on him. Ah, there it is. They are oh both God. dead. As it's not been a Thanks. safe space to be. I mean, they're, they're just going to keep Aramis down here to at least get Toby some experience, but these two are going to be really weak, and now Top. Chad dies, too. I get the arrow. The catch the arrow. Fly. They uh, might get turned and just killed for going for this Venge, though. They're, they're not killing the Venge. They're not even going to kill they're the Venge, and they're going to lose oh, a courier. Oh, that is courier! Oh, courier yep. oh no, and the courier! And I mean, Toby. he's going to make us spend some time at the Moe shot. It's in. He's dead again. Zero, three, zero. They have to pick a lane here to defend. You can't split your resources across all three on the side of Viking. They have to try to capitalize and punish at least one of them here. Otherwise, I, this game is gonna this game is gonna get impossible very quickly. General, it's gonna get going on. They've got the arrow. They've got there it. There we go. If he gets spotted, he's just instantly dead. They've got him. He's trapped in the shards. And there's nothing he can do here. Another death. And we see mid, Iceberg, yeah, like we said, they're hitting all fronts on the side of Navi. So Viking, they're gonna get split up all around the map. They're gonna try to get 
Spear off the mark. It is. He's still gonna... Is he still gonna die? Yes, he is. They, they've got enough damage with the four of them. And they might have to just settle for him. Yeah, they just settle. Yeah. Viking might be able to punish in. this. See if Boom and Toby can do it. Here we go. Arms of each they have, and they've got the setup. Just turn with the Gust, but Spear already came out, pitting him to the arena wall. Always want to fly him as one, though. The save's going to be there now. They can turn with the silence down to the Ember. Whoo! He's gone. Toby's out with the CP in time. Navi, instantly port to react. Ready to accelerate. Thinking, uh, quite a bit of a hit. And Celery's going to get left to back it. No one else is going to stick around. They'll let Celery go. It's General as well who's farming the same as your Lifestealer from the offlane. And he may have just found Aramis now. Oh, oh, silence off the mark. Yeah, a little off with the timing, but Roger. He's there. That yeah, works out better. Makes him use the leap charges. Beachy in though. How are we doing? Level 12. Yash is coming Down out. Bottom. And they got the jump. And they got the damage. Yep. Two on Navi. They can actually threaten kills because Viking's so weak. Viking, they need three, four heroes to be oh. looking to make these plays. They're trying to chase it for the bench. The is still tough. around. They're running in on this. Yeah, this yeah, he's got that yield to protect him from the sun. It's always one to fly. Looks like he is going to get taken out as he's left behind it. But they do manage to turn and get Aramis for this. No remnants. Yeah, he's got nowhere to jump out. And he's got a slight fist to dodge the snowball, but the damage is there. As Boom goes down. Tier 2 mid and then look for that rush. Yeah. But top Aramis, he's actually spotted. B2's making his own ganks. And he's got it. Easy solo kill for V2. And uh, we're, well, mid lane. We have to swap out to Iceberg. Turn with the stun onto Boom. Roger running in. Look at the damage for Boom. And Fast Heal comes into play. Boom's going to be fine. And now Mars. Toby's teeping in. Always want to fly with the sword for Psyche. Roger's hit. Vichu's moves on. They've got the back up here. He heads in with the silence. Onto the Ember. And Ember, he's dead. General, he's going in with the ultimate. They've cleaned up a third. Now Shad and Toby, they've got to run. Iceberg, he's going to chase Shad. He's going to go for the Rage CP out. Here against Na'Vi. In both of these games, they just look completely lost. Yeah, their their draft just it, it doesn't look like the Viking draft that we're used to seeing and used to like, seeing them play super aggressive. They just they just can't do anything this game. They're yeah, so no, outdrafted and so outlaned. The, the drafts just look so damn perfect for them with what they're up against now. There we go. Always want to fly. Drop out on Iceberg. Vichun steps back. He's never get the size down, but he is caught in the arena. Spears down onto Always want to fly. Vichun. Getting a safe now by the snowball. The exorcism coming in. Vichun is still alive. He's able to get to the high ground. Turn over towards the Mars. He's still alive. And of comes in. Toby tries to push him back with the gods for a but Vichun's got the kill. Remnants out. Over to the side. They've got the silence back up. They're going to be able to silence. Boom. Another to Yules. Giving him a bit of safety, but the Gust is there. Another he comes silence. crashing down. Vichun's able to kill him. It's a double kill for Vichun. They cannot kill the dragon. The drought just alive at all costs. General, he's stepping out there, does die to the Infest Burst. They'll kill him off. And Vichu, he's still got the Iceberg. Ages. They might kill Iceberg off, though. Will they? He's going to get away. He's going to get away. Vichu will go down the once to the Aegis. Oh my God, Iceberg will get away, though. And he's going to reinitiate with the stun, maybe. And the shards. Shad. Perfect shards from Roger. Trapping Shad oh, in. The toggle? Oh, he has got that toggle. And again, he's trying to toggle his way out of this. But they've got the damage. Featuring, he's dying Southern. underneath the tower here. He needs to get out of this. The Kree's beating onto him. He's going to be able to step away. He's still not dying. Oh the God. army of the Chen is trying to kill Vichun. It almost killed them all. I mean, <laughs> they're all so low. Vichun's going to TP out. And he's away. He's away, he's gonna live. Iceberg's gonna put the BKB go for a TP out too. They got the physical damage, they don't! Oh Iceberg's my God. gonna live. Always wanna fight. Going, oh, he, he's he's dying. Dying. He, he has to die. He always wants to die. Hundred percent die. No question about it. Always wanna fly. Does die. Uh, there's just so many counters. There's just the silences, the stuns, the BKB piercing disables. And they just jump boom. They just jump him. But all in the area. You know, General, he still has his ult. They do have everybody else at the ready too. And Iceberg is still strong even boom. without his. So what he's got is been silenced. For Toby, he's able to get the arena down. Just get the spear onto General. Iceberg moves him with the BKB. Always want to fly one fall. Over to the side there. Vichun is just getting all the space in the world to start doing the damage. They do slow him down a little bit with the Yules. Stops a bit of the damage coming straight out. But Roger's in with the chase. They got the punch up into the gun. Another onto silence. Boom. Boom's out. It's another kill for Vichun. It's just, uh, he, he just, he just doesn't stop. He just doesn't stop. He's 15 0 6. They cannot kill him. He's Radiant killing everybody. Is under attack. I mean, yeah, this. You know, we've had some impressive games today. You know, Mug Golems against Secret. And now Na'Vi. 
Here against Viking, they are just, they're just crushing them. They're absolutely crushing them. And VTune is just having a, an incredible time. Guys, this, this, this game's over. This it's game been, is it's over. It's been over. It's, I mean, it it's has been over for a very, very long time. And there we go. GG and Na'Vi. I mean, my goodness. They couldn't have done this, this whole series any cleaner. They really couldn't. Vichun, he was 20-0-6 in game one. He was 16-0-8 in game two. You, you know it's rough when it's been a whole series. And for Viking, they, they never killed the carry. They could no. not kill the carry fog. No, Navi ah. came. I think this draft, especially this one, was just—it really felt impossible. Like lane started, and I, you know, we looked and went.